This is Unit 3, Week 2, Question Number 2, Marbury versus Madison. Probably the single most important Supreme Court case in U.S. history. Why? It gave the Supreme Court the power of judicial review. Essentially, no one knew who speaks for the Constitution. Rule of law by a piece of paper. Paper doesn't talk. So someone had to speak for it. But it wasn't in the Constitution, clearly. So what happened in this case? In 1800, the election transfer of power. Jefferson is coming in, Adams is leaving. Before he leaves, Adam appoints all kinds of jobs, puts all kinds of positions. The Federalists are losing power, but they're trying to stock the courts. Every government agency, the customs agents, all kinds of people give all their supporters jobs. And William Marbury was one of those. He was a justice of the peace. He was offered a commission. It was given to the Secretary of State, John Marshall, to process. But the paperwork wasn't finalized. So like, you know, he did the interview, got the paperwork done, but it hadn't officially been filed. So, president, new president comes in, Jefferson. He immediately tells his Secretary of State, who's in charge of processing, don't file any more of the paperwork. All those papers on your desk, the ones that haven't been finalized, stop because I want to give those jobs to my supporters. So Marbury sues. Does he deserve a job? Yeah. Is he probably entitled to one? Yeah. He wants it. It's a pretty secure gig. A federal job was a good deal. So he takes his case to the Supreme Court, which is all filled with Federalists, because that's the previous two presidents. Washington wasn't in a party, but he acted like a Federalist. So what did he do? Um, they think the Supreme Court would want to help him. and. But they decide, we're too weak. They give themselves the ability to declare laws unconstitutional. How do they do that? The 1789 Judiciary Act. Congress set up a law under the power of con Constitution. Congress can set up courts under the Supreme Court and can set up various powers and duties of the courts. They said that in certain cases, you can go straight to the Supreme Court. And so according to the Judiciary Act, Marbury could go straight there. And the Chief Justice, John Marshall, who, by the way, was the Secretary of State under the prior president. Maybe he didn't finish his paperwork. One reason is because he was off for a better gig and job. He says, we can't help you. Here's why. He says, we are the court. We're too weak. We don't have the power. Because con according to the Constitution, the only time you can have your original trial with original jurisdiction in the Supreme Court is if it involves a diplomat or an ambassador overseas, or if it's one state versus another state. And Mr. Barbary, you are not a state. So technically, we can't make the decision. You'll have to start in a lower court. What did they just do? They threw out a Supreme Court law, gave, const gave the power to interpret and speak for the Constitution to the Supreme Court much bigger than any amendment, but it was just something they did. Um, Jefferson, by the way, oddly enough, was furious. Not because his one guy wasn't going to get the job, but he didn't want the power of judicial review in the courts. He thought they'd be too powerful. But that's how the Supreme Court came to have the power to declare laws unconstitutional, which they do with about half their work. Massive alteration in the balance of powers and it was an informal action of the Supreme Court themselves. And that's it from some guy in an Aloha print shirt.